Now, when asked by reporters to address the Ripple case after the hearing, Gensler declined to commit to launching an appeal or discussing whether there is any internal timeline on making that decision. Instead, he reiterated the regulator's partial success in the case, stating that, quote, parts of the ruling with regards to institutional investors, the Howey analysis applies to those institutional sales. That we appreciate. Less so as it relates to the Howey analysis on retail sales, but still taking a look at it. So my take is that Gensler has always been first and foremost a political animal. For some time, he has seen his goals as aligning with the SEC's goals, but he quite early on made a clear guess that taking an aggressive posture towards markets was going to be the most politically profitable stance for him to take. Indeed, you've seen his allies parrot his assessment that more enforcement actions equals success, even if, as we discussed before, they are all after the fact and don't actually do anything to prevent people from being harmed in the first place. 